Hey guys, in this video I'll show you how to fix a disk signature collision problem. So here I have an internal laptop hard drive. Uh, this actually came out from this Acer laptop. Uh, so what I've done here is attach a SATA to USB uh, converter board. So this goes in into your hard drive. It converts the SATA interface to a USB interface so that you can connect it to your laptop. So if I connect this hard drive to this laptop, nothing seems to happen. It doesn't show up. Uh, meanwhile, if I connect the same hard drive to my desktop computer, it shows up and you can access all its contents. So first off, I'm going to connect it to my desktop computer and show you guys that it actually works. Uh, you can hear the hard drive spin. There is a LED going over there and it should show up. There we go. And this works. I can open the hard drive files and browse the contents. So let me just plug this thing back in. I'll wait for the computer to eject. Right, so it's safe to remove. Now I can go ahead and remove this. Now if I plug the same hard drive into my laptop, it doesn't seem to work. So let's go ahead and plug this thing in. Okay, this is a little bit difficult to do with one hand. Again, you can hear the hard drive spin up, but it won't show up on uh, in my computer. So you can see it is connected, but it isn't showing up. And if I right click on this PC, go to manage and go to device manager and you'll see that the hard drive is actually plugged in. Uh, this is the one. So there is a very easy fix to this. Uh, all you need to do is open disk management and here you can see it is showing up it's a one terabyte hard drive and it is showing offline because this disk is offline because it has a signature collision with another disk which is online uh, which is true because this is a cloned hard drive of the uh, uh, this is the original hard drive which I cloned onto the uh, SSD so to fix this just right click on the uh, disk one and tap on online and this will fix the problem in all right so that will fix the uh, fix your disk collision problem and now I can go ahead and browse my files no problem all right so thank you guys for watching this video and do stay tuned for more videos like these see you all later